What's up, y'all? It's more or less live from my home in Hollywood, Florida. I'm a rapper. I'm a young, talented guy, full of inspiration, full of magic, and happy to be doing this. Thanks for having me. So uh, my mother is uh, Jewish American, white American Jewish. My father is Puerto Rican. So um, that's where I get my last name, Morales. That's how we get more or less. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, raised Jewish, um, but not religious. My father's family uh, wasn't really around, um, nor are they, are they that big. My father was adopted at a young age and uh, he never spoke Spanish. So um, all the Spanish I know is uh, just from being in South Florida. I have a younger sister um, who's the most important person in my life. Uh, lost my mother at a young age, at 18, and my father. My parents were amazing people, um, energetic people. People loved them, you know. Uh, so, you know, grew up in South Florida my whole life, and, um, you know, the, the loss of my parents has been instrumental in who I am and how I show up. And, no, been the last few four years have been on a journey of you know the music has been part of that and, and just growing to to heal and to look look at myself deeply on a deeper level and um, yeah so you know when it comes to music it's instrumental of who I am and in, in my way of expression um, and being able to to use music as a as a tool to heal and to to grow you know, I consider my my music to be conscious rap, um, to to come from a higher vibe. You know, I'm not rapping about cars, clothes, hoes, and money, um, which is also a great thing to rap about. It's easy to rap about, uh, but for me, you know, I'm rapping about real stuff for what's real for me, um, and just flowing on different vibes. You know. Um, I'm not a producer in any sorts, but I like to ride other people's waves. So if I was on a, on a hip-hop trap song, I'm going to ride that hip-hop trap wave. But the lyrics are not going to be, you know, about the hoes and all this. It's going to be about high vibes or um, whatever may come up for the song. You know, I like to, I like to feel the music and, and let that come, come up and come out. So the separation is what differentiates me from others is just the conscious rap and adding adding real stories to, to the music. My goal is to inspire and to create and just let the universe kind of guide that path for me. Um, so no, there's no like, I want to be a Drake or I want to be a, a Russ. I just want to be more or less and, and whatever that whatever that looks like, I'm open to it. Um, my goal is just to continue to create, continue to share, and continue to inspire. As of right now, I'm independent, and I'm happy to be independent and just continue to flow with that. Uh, that, that would probably be the side that I lean towards more. Um, but to, to even have an opportunity to be signed, would be I'd be extremely grateful for that. So I'm excited to, to be open to that. Um, I'm not, I'm not one-sided either way. Uh, if I could be signed, and that gives me an opportunity to reach my goal um, and continue to inspire, then I'm with it as well, as, as long as we're all aligned in the same way. Oh, the passion is like at a thousand percent. Um, where I want to go with it, you know, I could see myself playing at festivals. Um, I could see myself having thousands, millions of, of listens on Spotify. You know, I'm not here trying to be uh, some famous icon. I'm just trying to inspire others. Um, my goal with music is, is to inspire others to, to step into their artistry and show that anybody who's been through anything in life, which we all have, can do whatever they want with their life. Um, Snoopy, you got something to say? Come here. Come here. I feel like we're in a good place and I feel like there's people like me out there and so many other talented artists that could bring such a different flavor. Um, I got a song coming out in December with the local band Behind the Houses, shout out Behind the Houses. And it's a, a mixture of 
rock, reggae, and hip hop, something that we haven't seen since the early 2000s, the rock and hip hop kind of kind of vibe. No projects as of right now. Uh, the goal is to just continue to put out singles. Um, I'll be, I'm working with Matt Brown on a single right now that I'm really excited about. No name on that right now, just to continue to go with the flow. And uh, my goal next year is to re release at least six singles. Um, once every two months, um, maybe once a month for a while. Um, but that's my goal. My goal next year is to release six, six new projects, uh, which would just be singles and see where it goes. Uh, I just feel, feel like these days, you know, people who really will like you will listen to your whole project. Most people are just going to listen to the to the first track. So if I can just get singles out there and continue to push that, uh, maybe get some video content as well. So, um, yeah. You know, I, I feel uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of hate in this world, and you know, um, rest in peace to all the people who've lost their lives on both sides, uh, in Gaza and Palestine and in Israel, which is just you know, just deeply sad. Uh, it got real for me when one of my friends, uh, Haim, um, who was born and raised in Brooklyn, um, you know, he he flew over there that same night because he was, you know, he's a um, Israeli soldier uh, reserve so uh, he's there right now um, so you know it got pretty real for me seeing a buddy of mine over there fighting for for you know our country of Israel I'm in therapy uh, I see a therapist virtually um, I meditate um, on a weekly basis I try to do daily but uh, the reality is I don't meditate every day but um, you know for example this morning I did a, a affirmation meditation where we're just saying affirmations three times and um, you know uh, I'm keeping myself physically active I work I lift weights four times a week uh, um, <laughs> I play basketball here and there I'm in a softball league uh, I'm active I'm at the beach every week um, sun tanning throwing the frisbee and football around um, trying to drink a lot of water um, 11 months ago I quit drinking alcohol so that was huge for me in my healing and just like and just for who I am and how I show up you know I'm not I've never seen myself even f like after the age of 16 17 in a, in a clear mind state where I can go out and not not rely or use alcohol in the way to to feel or not feel something so um, and I'm you know trying to learn new things every day of how I can heal myself um, this Saturday and this past few Saturdays I've done cold plunge right here at my house I have a little tub and we fill it up with water and ice and it gets about 40 degrees and we jump in for about three minutes four minutes five minutes and it's amazing um, so healing the body calming the mind knowing that we can do hard things it's a uh, it's fun it's fun this whole this whole journey of being healthy is just, is just like a it's a big game of like you know we're we're these our life is like a movie and we're an actor and we're directing and we're producing and we're manifesting and showing up and however we want to show up so um, taking care of myself equals taking care of the world and others the first step is to look in the mirror at yourself and say, see see what things that you may not resonate with anymore or may you know you may be feeling a way about your looks um, you know like what can you do about that right now what does that look like you know taking these baby steps towards your goal get clear on your goals what do you want write it down um, journaling um, is another thing that I use that I should do even more to help me process of what what's inside um, Finding someone to talk to that might not be your partner or your parent or your best friend, uh, like a therapist or just a neutral space, um, or even talking about it with your loved ones as well helps because we have all these things inside, these stories that we make up about ourselves and situations, but when you look within and you talk about it with others, 
it doesn't stay so trapped you know we make up all this stuff so when you talk about it you're actually you know you, you're coming up with the answers for yourself we all have we all have the answers and solutions inside to, to reach where we want to go it's just about finding processes and different modalities that help you do that so what what may work for me may not work for the other person but definitely looking within is is the first step